I promised you to make my next video about the visas, so here we go. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Magandang araw sa iyon lahat. Welcome po sa aking channel. In this video, I will talk about the visas, not the visas to come to Belgium, but the visas to go to the Philippines. Now, it's a little bit a crazy time because of the coronavirus that's uh, conquering the world. So it looks like crazy to talk about visas and going to the Philippines. Uh, because the last things that uh, I can hear now that um, they are making some changes and that they are becoming more strict to travel to the Philippines but it's updating uh, every hour the things that they are changing so I don't know when the video is going online what's the latest update uh, maybe I will make a video uh, later about it or maybe I will go live so that uh, everybody can uh, put his thoughts here on the channel but for now i don't have really a lot of uh, information yet but it still stays available so even if you are not allowed to travel now this week or next week or next month the the visa procedure normally stays the same so you can use this video uh, in six months also if you didn't subscribe yet please click the red button down the video that's a subscribe button don't forget to ring the notification bell to get updates for the later videos it's showing your support now there are a lot of different visas to go to the philippines uh, i'm only going to use a few here the most common for the people uh, because you have for example a uh, 13a visa that's a residence visa that's for people that want to live full-time in the philippines i'm not going to talk about that because then it will go a long video again and i promised to make shorter videos now if you're entering the philippines you always need a visa but you don't need a visa in advance if you're staying less than 30 days so that's the easiest part if you're not traveling more than 30 days you just go there and you get a visa on arrival that's just a stamp in your passport and you're good to go and you can always extend your visa in the philippines also now about that i can see a video from another youtuber he had that uh, situation now he was not from belgium and he was not going to manila but he was going to cebu and he was planning in advance to stay longer than 30 days in the Philippines so his flying ticket was more than 30 days but he didn't have a uh, he didn't have a visa in advance so they refused him on the airport where he should departure now the advice that he also gave is like if you're already thinking to uh, extend your visa in the Philippines better to do it immediately here or to take uh, a cheap ticket out of the philippines within the 30 days so that you don't have to use that and that you can just throw away the ticket just to arrive there because in some airports they're already strict if you don't have a visa in advance they know you can stay there for 30 days but if your flying ticket is going for 60 days then it's possible that you cannot even leave so i would think that was a good tip from the guy so i wanted to put it also here in my video now when i was traveling to the philippines i stayed more than 30 days um, i stayed around 47 days but i knew it in advance so i arranged also a visa in advance now if you want to do a visa already in advance you can stay max 59 days that's the maximum visa uh, expiring that you can have from belgium now you have different kind you have a single entering you have a multiple entering um, i will put a link here down the description and i also put it here on the screen uh, there you can find all the information uh, because there are difference between the the visas for example a single entering it's 27 euro and you can only enter the philippines within three months after that they gave you the visa so it's limited um, if you want to have a multiple you can choose with uh, six months or one year and then the prices are around 55 euro i think and uh, the other one is even more than 80 euro so it depends what you want to do but uh, i advise you uh, if you're staying longer than 30 days to arrange your visa here in belgium 
Now, if you're choosing for the first option that I just said that you will uh, travel there just in the 30 days and you will extend there, you can go there to the immigration office to extend. Now, they said there is already one on the airport. I didn't see it there, so maybe it's just around the corner. It, I didn't pay any attention on that. So you can do it when you arrive, but make sure then that your flying ticket is shorter than your 30 days. Now also for that kind of visa you need different uh, papers and everything so I will put a link also down in the description uh, where you can find the information about that kind of visa, what documents that you need to apply for that. Uh, I, what I can see quickly it's a significant shorter that list uh, but you also have to uh, see and you also have to know that that visa I can see prices from 3000 pesos so that's around 50 euro and 60 euro it depends on the rates so if you want to extend there it's already more expensive than when you're doing it here in Belgium now on different groups on internet I can even see that it depends on which office that you're going that the prices will also change so it's not that it's a fixed price so big be aware of that. Now if you already have a visa here uh, in uh, Belgium for the four, 59 days uh, you can also extend it when you're already in Philippines. That's also to go to an immigration office. I also put a link here below for that so you know which documents that you need then. And also there are some prices. It depends if you want to extend for one month or for two months. It's also around 3000 to 3600 pesos. So that's also around the 50 and 60 euro independent of the rate. So even your visa is only 59 days and you want to stay longer, you can always uh, adjust it there in the Philippines. But for me, if you're only staying 30 days to start and you already lose a day for traveling to the immigration uh, offices, I will put a link also here in which immigration office that you can do it. And if you already uh, have to travel one day, you're also losing extra holidays. So if you're still here in Belgium, it's easy to go to the embassy or you're just going to the consul and you can apply it here. It's taking five days uh, to get your visa. Now you have to know also the moment that you will arrive in Philippines, the person from the immigration, they will ask you uh, what you're coming to do. For me, I had a little interview. I get like three or four questions to ask what I wanted to visit in Philippines. And if they're not sure, they can always cancel your visa there. So it doesn't mean if you have a visa for 59 days, that it's immediately also 59 days. If you're not convincing the person that you're coming there to visit the country and when they are suspecting that you're doing some illegal things, they can always uh, take away that visa. So just uh, be prepared also for that. Now I don't know any cases that had like that so I don't know if it's really uh, happening often but uh, for me I was all shocked when the person asked me yeah where you will stay and everything uh, what you wanted to visit because I was staying for almost six weeks so the person wanted to know if I was legit and if I was uh, honest now on the websites that I'm posting here down you can see also which documents that you need. They're not really hard documents to get. Uh, you always have to have an application form. Um, if you are here in Belgium applying for that you need to have a copy of your passport, a copy of your residence card here from Belgium, so your Belgium ID card. You need to have a passport a photo. Uh, you have to prove that you have enough money uh, for your staying there in Philippines. And maybe one of the important things also, you have to prove where you will stay. So if you're staying in a hotel, you need to prove that you booked the hotel room. Uh, and maybe for the people that are watching this video and about the fiancé visa and everything, if you will stay with your fiancé there, with your girlfriend, she need to send you an invitation letter. Um, so you can give that also to the consul and she needs to put in the invitation letter uh, that she will suddenly swear that you will stay uh, with her, on her in her place. Uh, so you don't have a, a bill for that or you don't have a reservation for that but uh, then she just need to write it on the paper 
and for me that was also enough of proof that uh, I had a place to sleep that I will not uh, sleep uh, in, in public and then the last one that's uh, if you're already married to a Filipina and she's traveling together with you you just have to show your marriage contract in the Philippines at the immigration officer and normally he will give you a Balik Bayan stamp that's um, not really a visa some people say but uh, it's a stamp in your passport and you're allowed to stay one year with that without any costs without any uh, problems for that but the uh, thing is you have to enter together with uh, your Filipina wife so if your, if your wife is still living in the Philippines and you're arriving alone it's not counting and you have to show your marriage contract uh, that you're really officially married I hope that uh, you think that this video was uh, informative I make it specially shorter because I can explain to you every procedure for every visa but then we have a video from 20 minutes again and that will be too long but I put every link down in the description so you can find it out yourself if you have any questions my email address is also down in the video you can always contact me don't forget to add me on Facebook uh, the name is here in the back uh, you can always put me also on Instagram that's on the Belgium vlog just one word don't forget that uh, you can subscribe on this channel it's showing your support to my channel the link is here on top that's a round circle just click it and you can uh, subscribe thank you for watching see you in the next video and make sure you stay safe with the coronavirus Paalam